Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Veteran medalist of the sword of Western Armenia. Interview with the Deputy Minister of Defense of the Republic of Western Armenia, Suran Shahunyan. Human rights watch warns of inhuman treatment of Armenian captives. The Artsakh people kept the village of Charaktar, although Pashinyan handed it over to Azerbaijan on paper. The European Court of Human Rights lifted the interim measure against Turkey upon Armenia's request. Earthquake in Sagar, province of Western Armenia. Polish culture days to be held in Armenia. It is with pride and honor that Baru Shahumyan, member of the National Council of Western Armenia, on this day of December 2, 2020, 100 years after the Alexandra Paul Treaty was signed between the representatives of the Mustafa Kemal and the government of Armenian Republic of Caucasus, awarded medals to the veterans of Western Armenia, Jean Ghazarusyan and Vrej Abrahamian, both deputies of the Parliament of Western Armenia, in the presence of President Armenak Abrahamian. Before the ceremony, President Armenak Abrahamian told about the three months spent in Armenia and Artsakh during the war, the work being done on the spot and talked about the steps that needed to be taken to help restore the security conditions of the people of Artsakh. In a conversation with Western Armenia TV, Deputy Minister of Defense of the Republic of Western Armenia, Suren Shahumyan, presented important episodes of the Artsakh War. He touched upon the issue of Armenia's readiness for this war, the opportunities to take active steps. He spoke about the general condition of the positions, including the issue of the ability to provide them with all the necessary equipment. During the conversation, Mr. Shahumyan presented details from the two meetings with the Artsakh president, talking about the proposals made by the Republic of Western Armenia as he refer to the future plans and goals. Azerbaijani forces are showing inhumane treatment of ethnic Armenians captured during the Artsakh conflict, warns Human Rights Watch in a special report. According to the authoritative structure, since mid-October, Armenian prisoners of war have been subjected to physical violence, humiliation. These actions are filmed and widely spread on social media. Violence toward the prisoners of war cannot be justified, said Hugh Williamson, head of Europe and Central Asia Department of Human Rights Watch, recalling that respect for humanitarian law implies an obligation to protect prisoners of war. Human Rights Watch informs that it has studied dozens of videos published on the internet, various visual materials and legal documents. Check them and talk to the relatives of the captives and the Armenian lawyers dealing with the case. Artsakh citizen Ashot Sevian proved that one person can change even the most difficult situation for the state. A few days ago, Ashot Sevian assured one of the foreign journalists that he would not leave the village of Charaktar, which, according to the document signed by the Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan, was to come under the control of Azerbaijan. Ashot Sevian and his comrades in arms insisted that they would defend the village as much as necessary, and yesterday it became known that the village of Charaktar will remain under the control of Artsakh. It turns out that an entire village was saved by one person and this is in the case when the head of the country handed it over to the enemy on paper. Ashot Sevian proved what results could we have if everyone first of all the political power loved and defended their homeland like him. The representative of the Republic of Armenia in the European Court of Human Rights informs that it has lifted the interim measure applied to Turkey. On the basis of the joint statement signed by the Prime Minister of Armenia, the President of Russia and the President of Azerbaijan on the Artsakh conflict on November 9, Turkey appealed to the European Court on November 17 to overturn the interim measure imposed on it. On December 1, the court reviewed the decision in the case of Armenia against Turkey on October 6, with the statement posted on the Facebook page of the Armenian representative to the European Court of Human Rights. At the same time, the European Court of Human Rights reaffirmed that the interim measure applied to Azerbaijan remains in force. Earlier, it was reported that Turkey had transferred terrorist mercenaries from northern Syria to Azerbaijan with the aim of using them against Artsakh and Armenia. The information was also confirmed by the authorities of Syria, France, Russia, and the United States and other countries too. The Armenian Foreign Ministry has stated that there is completely new dimension for the spread of terrorism when foreign terrorist jihadist fighters from the Middle East are stationed in the conflict zone in the OSCE area, which poses a serious threat to international stability of regional security. At 8.45, 5.2 magnitude earthquake shook the province of Sagar to Western Armenia. The Emergency Situations Ministry reported details on the earthquake, saying that there has been no damage or casualties so far. The epicenter was reported at the depth of 10 kilometers. 
Days of Polish culture will be held in Armenia from December 7 to 9 on the centenary of the Battle of Warsaw in 1920. As reported by Arma Press, film screenings, photo exhibitions, book presentations, as well as concerts of Polish classical music will be organized within the framework of the program. The project was organized by the Polish Culture Foundation Yerevan Golden Apricot International Film Festival in cooperation with the Polish Embassy in Armenia. The project is co-financed by the Cultural Dissemination Fund of the Ministry of Culture and national heritage. Now let us represent your attention a song by Van Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.